Hello, book two. Well, it's that time again, that time that your mother and your resident physician warned you about. It's the return <coughs> of the very worst event on booktube. <laughs> Garb August has returned. It was not killed last year. It has returned bigger and more whiffy than ever. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this is a booktube event created by Criminali. He has most of the blame, <laughs> and it is designed to celebrate trash in the month of August. When the, the heat and humidity are right up there and everything's putrefying, <laughs> it seems just fine for reading garbage. So that's what you are tasked with doing in August. Now, Ollie started this last year. I was asked to be a co-host last year. I had a blast. And uh, a lot of other people did too. This is pretty much the dictionary definition, the textbook example of how well a booktube event can go, because everybody loved it. Uh, and so it's back. This year we have uh, more, many, many more hosts, 22 or 23 co-hosts. I'll leave a list of all of them down below, and they're all they're all coming out with uh, one introduction video after another. Some of the introduction videos are hilarious, and uh, designed to get you ready for Garb August. Now, as with most booktube events, most of the good ones, uh, the thing is actually in its bones wide open. If you read a, a trashy book in August, then you're then you're happily participating in Garb August. But we do have uh, sort of weekly prompts, themes, in case you like that in your uh, in your booktube events. So week number one would be either category romance or men's adventure. And category romance is something that uh, you've seen on this channel quite a few times. I actually co-host. A second channel with Sarah of the Bookish Knitter, uh, who is one of the co-hosts for Garb August, about category romances. You'll you'll be familiar with them. A lot of you of a certain uh, generation will think of them as supermarket romances. They're they're not the mainstream type thing. Instead, they have numbers. They have usually a telegraph of the plot is the title of the book, <laughs> and they have a reputation for being really bad, just as a category. Uh, and then men's adventure would be guns, uh, boobies on the cover, <laughs> that sort of thing. It would be the, the type of thing that, uh, I don't know, I think there's a lot more crossover for men reading Harlequins, which are category romances, the signature category romance, than there are women reading men's adventure. I could be wrong about that. But that would be uh, week number one. And then week number two is either paperbacks from hell or vintage horror. And for the, the parameters being laid down here, vintage is anything earlier than the 1980s. Uh, and Paperbacks from Hell does not need to be one of the many, many books featured in Grady Hendrick's absolutely seminal book. Even if you don't like trash, even if you're not interested in horror, even if all of those things are true, you have got to go on eBay and get yourself a cheap copy of Paperbacks from Hell. It is an amazing book. Just an amazing book. You will fall in love with it, regardless of what your relationship with trash is. <laughs> but you don't have to pick a book from, from Paperbacks from Hell, although there are tons of great suggestions in there for wasting your time. But it can be just any old horror. Uh, and, I, you know, that's out there. It's, it's not quite as pricey as you would think to find these things. Uh, and again, it's not necessary. You can, if you're, if you're coming up on week two in August and you're having a hard time finding something to fill the bill, don't worry about it. Just read something dumb. <laughs> read some garbage and you'll be fine. Uh, then week number three is novelizations or books by celebrities. Uh, novelizations being where the writer of the book did not invent any of the characters, did not invent the dialogue, did not invent the play, the pacing or the setting or anything like that. They're just basically adding quotation marks and he said, she said, to the last, most recent iteration of the shooting script that they could get their hands on. Usually writing the book at breakneck speed on a, on a tough deadline with very little in the way of editing uh, and almost nothing in the way of creative freedom unless you have a name. Unless you're Alan Dean Foster, you have very little in the way of creative freedom. So you can read one of those. The novelizations were, once upon a time, <clears throat> a lot more prevalent than they are now. I don't know... I don't know that novelizations have much of any kind of existence at all nowadays. Whereas once upon a time, they were considered an absolutely required arm of a movie's publicity 
blitz. Yes, you would have posters and maybe a lunchbox and some trading cards, but you would also have a novelization in bookstores. Uh, that would, you know, especially bookstores that had deep penetration into smaller markets, little towns that didn't get the weren't on the distribution list for the main distribution of a big movie. They would still have a drugstore. The drugstore would still have a rack for books. So it could it could very well be that you would get. Well, the famous example is Star Wars by George Lucas, the novel by George Lucas, which I would argue, I don't know that there are any firm numbers, but I would argue that probably oh, a good solid 40% of the, of the young people that encountered Star Wars in the 70s encountered it in book form or comic book form before they got a chance to see it in the movies. And that went on and on and on. I think that has completely stopped. Uh, the huge example that would probably prove me wrong would be if there was a novelization for Avatar. I don't recall that there was one. But it used to be for everything. Everything that had a certain price tag to it got a novelization. Like, for instance, what's an example? Uh, well, the, the greatest box office flop in Hollywood history, Indiana Jones, the latest Indiana Jones movie, where uh, uh, Take no prisoners, don't need no man, girl boss, Dex Indiana Jones, the final act of the movie. With one punch, of course, because what's effort for? <laughs> effort. Who heard of that? Uh, once upon a time, there would have been a novelization of that movie. I'm sure there was one for Indiana Jones and the much hated Crystal Skull. So, uh, but I'm not sure that there is a novelization for Indiana Jones and whatever this latest, this dumb movie is. I have no idea whether there is one or not. Or, like, for instance, there's a. Uh, there's a movie coming up, uh, a novelization or uh, an adaptation of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, starring Timothy Chalamet, in which, for the gigantic Bollywood style it, it cast of thousands song and dance number at the heart of the movie, the director said to Timothy Chalamet, We want you to dance. We know that you can. We've seen the TikTok footage of you dancing your head off at nightclubs. And Timothy Chalamet at the front of a two hundred million dollar movie simply said no. <laughs> I'll I'll phone it in. I'll look like I've got you know prosthetic legs, but I won't do the real thing. You're only paying me fifty million dollars. <laughs> well, and it's possible it's possible that there will be a reprint of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Timothy Chalamet's puss on the cover. But once upon a time, there would have been a novelization of that movie. Anyway, in addition to, <laughs> or, uh, well, you name it, right down the line. And those things don't appear to exist much anymore. I don't know if that's a commentary on uh, the cynicism of movie studios or the fact that nobody reads anymore. <laughs> but for the third week of August, for Garb August, you could read a novelization. There are lots of them out there, lots of them. Or you could read a celebrity book, a book written by a famous person, uh, with by in the heaviest air quotes imaginable, because the famous person does not write the book. Except in very, very rare instances, they do not write the book. Usually they have maybe one meeting, maybe two. They're on their phone the whole time. Uh, with the cringing writer who's in the room. The writer is, uh, in many, many cases, one very notorious case that I could tell you about. The writer was not allowed to make eye contact with the celebrity across the table in the room where the writer was being briefed on how to write that celebrity's book. They weren't even allowed to look at the celebrity in the eye, much less talk to them. <laughs> so, and those things also tend to be done on brutal deadlines with all sorts of fish pecking at the corpse. All sorts of, you've got, you've got legal, and we need to take these 15 paragraphs out. Do they matter? <laughs> They'll ask a writer, and the writer's crying on the inside. Do they matter? Do these paragraphs matter? <laughs> Uh, or the family will, will also want to peck, they'll want to take out 10 paragraphs of their own, or in nightmare scenarios, the celebrity themselves will get wind of the book. They can't read, but they'll get, wind, they'll get wind of the book and dislike some aspect of it. Writer will be handed a manuscript or a file now in the electronic age and told, turn this around in two days or, you know, or give back the money. Uh, so those books, much like novelizations, those books have reputations for being god-awful. <laughs> so that's your third week. And then the fourth week of Garb August is Anything Goes. And uh, if you watched uh, 
Criminali's announcement video where he has books flying at him out of the toilet. <laughs> If you watch his his video, he mentions he's mentioned a couple of times on his channel. Actually, they did a whole video on uh, the cornucopia of anything goes style books that you can get on Kindle Unlimited. <laughs> yes, I can personally attest to that. Things that you didn't know existed and wish you didn't know existed, they exist by the thousands on Kindle Unlimited. So you could spelunk around there for anything goes, but keep in mind these are just playful suggestions. Garb August is the funnest booktube event of them all. So these are just playful suggestions. You don't have to follow any of them. You can just read something terrible. Uh, and I, I, should, I should wrap up this announcement video by pointing out that there are all of the bells and whistles. There's, I believe there's going to be, or if there isn't already, Garb August merch, if you wanted to do that. Uh, there's a group read that's going to be happening. There's a Discord where you can go and talk about whatever garbage you're reading. <laughs> and there's a, there's a Garb Bingo card. Lots and lots of details. I'll leave a link to uh, to all of these co-hosts, but especially, you know, all these introduction videos so that you know what you're getting into. <laughs> because Garb August could not be stopped. <laughs> At the end of August last year, we cut off its head, drove a stake through its heart, and stuffed its innards with garlic, and that wasn't enough. <laughs> so Garb August will be back in just 10 days. Uh, and I'll be there. I'll be having a blast. I'm hoping you'll join us. Uh, I'll, I don't know that I'm going to do a, a TBR on this channel. I think what I will probably do for Garb August is what I have done for uh, June on the Range or Booktube of War or Book Trick. I think I'll probably just max out on garbage. I'll just pick something pretty much every night and read that and then report back. <laughs> I think that'll just be the, the course of my month for August. But you never know. I might follow one of the prompts. I might let them guide me. Either way, I wanted to make sure you knew, I'm sure that you, you knew already, that Garb August is, in fact, returning, despite warnings from the U.S. Supreme Court and the Environmental Protection Agency, to say nothing of Greta Thunberg, who's been against Garb August from the beginning, <laughs> with good reason. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're going to have a lot of fun. Hope you join us. I'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you, Booktube.